Well, after about three years of neglect, I finally got around to it. I finally took care of my rear end. I am talking about my bumper. First, I want to thank Nick and Tim for coming over and helping me install the bumper. In fact, they kind of did everything. They brought tools and they just came over and ran with it. And I really appreciate it and uh, thank you guys. Thank you so much. There were a lot of choices that I could go with to uh, replace the bumper, but I decided to go with Schrock Works. They're really well known for doing off-road bumpers and they've been doing Nissan Xterra and Frontier parts for a long time. And I've got the Schrock Works skid plates already, so it's kind of a no-brainer and I'm really happy with it. Another reason I went with Schrock Works is because it incorporates the trailer hitch mount right into the bumper. So it's just one piece and it actually increases my departure angle a little bit, so benefits all around. When I ordered the rear bumper, I ordered a front bumper too and they were shipped at the same time to a local shop. And after thinking about it for a while, I decided that I could probably do the rear bumper myself. So I went down, picked it up, hauled it home, and um, it was a pretty straightforward install. When I opened the box, I was really impressed with how it looked. The powder coating was really nice. This is really a sturdy bumper. I'm really happy. So why did I even replace the rear bumper at all? Well, it was about almost three years ago, a little over two years ago, that uh, my neighbor had an incident with my truck. and. Uh, he was okay, thank goodness, but the bumper didn't fare as well. So uh, I kind of rode with it as is, kind of banged up and bent up. And when I decided to turn this into a more off-road overlanding vehicle, I knew it was time to, to get something that was a little more off-road friendly, had some recovery points, and again, Schrockworks was the perfect choice for me. So a couple days prior to the removal, I gave the bolts a good squirt of PB Blaster and that uh, had the bumper and the original trailer hitch come off with really no drama. It was a good thing to do. So the first thing we did was disconnect the power to the trailer hitch plug and then uh, undid the bolts and it was uh, a pretty easy removal. Next, we removed the bolts holding the bumper on and again, because of the PB Blaster, there was no drama. They just backed out and uh, it was a pretty straightforward operation. So the Schrockworks kit comes with all the bolts and nuts and washers that you'll need. So the getting the new bumper installed really again was, was a simple process. We just kind of all held our ends up, got it all lined up and the bolts went right in torqued in and it was uh, pretty straightforward and again, no drama. So one thing to keep in mind is the fact that if you order the bumper without the backup lights, the bumper still will come with the cutouts for them. And in the pictures online, it does not have those cutouts. So if, it's, if you're thinking it's gonna be a solid piece, just check with Schrockworks to make sure that's available. It's not a deal breaker for me, but now I do have the cutouts and no lights in there. But again, it's not a big deal, but just keep that in mind if you decide to go without the backup lights. Another thing to consider is the little lights that go next to the license plate. Again, in the pictures online, it shows, you know, the traditional right next to the plate by the side. But what I got was the little LEDs that actually work as screws to mount them in. I do have to rewire those in. So I was hoping I wouldn't have to do that and I could just reuse the original lights that were on the original bumper. But that's not going to be the case. Again, not a big deal, but just keep that in mind. So to reinstall the power outlet for the, uh, for the trailer, we had to uh, trim the plastic piece to get to fit flush against the bumper and the instructions do say you'll need to do that so keep that in mind it's just a little bit of a hacksaw or a little grinder and we were able to cut off what we needed and, and get it bolted nice and fairly flush to the bumper so no complaints there just again keep that in mind that you'll have to do a little bit of trimming on that plastic piece to get it to fit right
overall I'm really happy with the bumper. I think it looks great. It lined up well, easy install, and I think the red shackles give a nice bling to it too. So uh, again, no complaints. I'm really happy with it. And I'm looking forward to see how this will complement the front bumper, which will be installed in a few weeks. If you want to learn more about Schrockworks and the parts that they could have to offer, go ahead and check the link below. I appreciate you watching. Please uh, give a subscribe if you would and a like. I would appreciate that very much. And uh, until the next video, I'll see you guys down the road. Take it easy.